action. action. Hello, it's me. It's Edge from U2. I hope you're having a nice evening. So I'm here with Marco and he's going to ask me some interesting questions which I'm sure I'll be stunningly able to answer. Right, here we go then. Question number one. It's hard on this. Mm. Your favourite all time ant track ever? My favourite all time ant track ever, ever, ever would be, um, mm, I think, Dog Eat Dog. Dog Eat Dog, because yeah. I think it, it was it was the hardest one to do. Yeah, I like that. Your favourite ant single, well, you just said that, haven't you? No, my favourite, yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose my favourite ant single would be would be that. Oh, that changes. I think I like Car Trouble as well. So I'll, I'll, I'll have a second. Your, your favourite ant B side? Uh, Red Scab. Red Scab? Is that a B side? Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. Your favourite ant album track? My favourite ant album track. Um, it, um, beautiful dream, because because uh, I think you know Kevin Kevin Mooney like you know wrote it and, and uh, then we wrote some more on it and I think it ended up sounding really good. Well, he started it and we finished. He it. He started it and we finished it as usual. As usual, yeah. Um, your favourite and studio album. <coughs> Um, but they're all done in the studio. I know, but what it says here. They're all done in the studio. Uh, yeah, my favourite and uh, studio album um, would have had to be would have had to be Strip because we were in delightful, exciting Stockholm, which is probably one of the most one of the most boring places I've ever been. And a big joke over there is to say hello to your friends. Uh, that gets a big laugh. Yeah. Uh, so I'd say I'd say Strip would be the one because uh, it, we, we went over there thinking it was going to be like ABBA because we used ABBA's studio, Polar Studios, and it ended up being incredibly not like ABBA, not like ABBA at all right. and uh, dull. Yeah, I know. Right, stuff like that. Um, sorry, next one. Your favourite Ant pro promo video? Uh, my favourite Ant promo video has got to be... Uh, uh, I think it's going to be, uh, uh, I think Ant Music because it's got, um, it's got Jordan in it, it's got Mandy Donahoe in it and, uh, and it, you know, I think they, they really deserve to be on film. Oh, and, uh, and uh, John Keogh's in it, isn't he? Kevin Mooney's mate. Is he? Yeah, I think he's in it. So there's lots of my, my old friends in it who um, now sort of moved. Not a friend anymore. They're not a friend and they don't like me anymore. Uh, your favourite ant single sleeve? That's a poor question. Ant single sleeve? Uh, ooh, um, my favourite single sleeve is Car Trouble because it's. Uh, it was it. taken off. I did it, yeah, of course. But I mean, I did. It was a. a it was a, a still off of the off the off a video, and it. Uh, I think it really worked quite well. I, I like Car Trouble. The, 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 uh, your favourite ant album sleeve? Um, favourite and album sleeve is uh, I think Kings yeah I think front and back because again that's very primitive like video stills and I remember that at CBS the head of the um, the graphics department was this, this uh, Polish bloke who was like really he was not very pleasant and he said it was the worst cover he'd ever seen in his life and then it went on to do like 5 million so he sort of had to yeah, kind of, you know, although he didn't like it, five million other people did, so bollocks to him. Yeah. Um, what did I just say? Oh, your favourite ant image. This is funny. My favourite ant image? Yeah. Right, what's the f your favourite thing to dress up as? Oh, um, oh, to dress up, well, I like dressing up. Uh, I think the most, fa I think one of the best things I ever wore was a, uh, a gold rubber t-shirt from Sex in about 1977 and a pair of, uh, I think it was a pair of uh, Midnight Blues tonic trousers 
and uh, I pulled the t-shirt like that and it ripped into pieces which is a shame because it's probably worth the yeah, fortune. If, uh, if I still had it, it'd yeah. be worth a lot of money. But no, you had to rip it up. I had to rip it. And I think that kind of early kind of there was a thing with just straps across the chest which was quite nice. That was pretty good. And and some PVC trousers with pink lace down that was made by Dave Vanian's wife, Laurie, who is very beautiful. And that's enough said about that. Yes. Okay, um, this is a good question. Your, f your favourite and tour? Um, uh, well, don't want to answer that. Oh, my favourite ant tour would have been uh, Australia in about 80, Australia and Japan in about 81, I think, got to be the best because it was, uh, I just like, I had a great time, I know it was brilliant, sort of revolving door, sort of yeah. nooky. Yeah, okay, right, apart from yourself, your favourite ant band member? Oh, um, oh, apart from you? Yeah, apart from me. Apart, apart from, from Marco, apart from me. Um, I would have to. I, don't, I think my favourite has got to be the the wonderful, fabulous Terry Lee Mile. I think because he was uh, the first one we got to join after we decided to do it, and uh, I think he's um, you know he's he's definitely the tallest. Yeah. And uh, I that. and the tallest, and I think the best. Uh, he, you know, I think he was uh, my favourite really. Um. All right. Your favourite and related book. Uh, uh, and related, but I, I suppose it's that Fred and Judy Vormoral thing. Although that was that wasn't really so much about us, it was a, but it was pretty good with the reference material. I thought it was good, but uh, I think the I think the book in the uh, Ant Box is the the best book. I think it's the definitive book of, of okay. us. All right. All right. All right. Um, your favourite Adam and acting role. Um, ooh. Favourite uh, favourite acting role would have to be uh, entertaining Mr. Slow at the Royal Exchange in '85. That that was like my favourite. My least favourite was Funeral Games, which was very very the very apt title. Um, and if I ever see the director again, he better duck. Well, you might see him again. No, I won't. Okay, well that covers the 15 questions. Thank you. And so done, I think you've done extremely, extremely well. well. And I've won, what have I won? You've won sod all, basically. Sod yeah, okay. Well anyway, I hope everybody has a nice time and uh, plays the absolute crap. I think they should try and play Apollo, the, the Apollo, uh, Apollo 9 splashdown mix. Why? Why do you want to play that? Because it's one of the best things we ever did. I think uh, I think it's the only time a producer or the only time any engineer ever had any kind of input, we just sent it off to him. When we got it back, it actually sounded really good. Francois Gavalkian. Well, we didn't actually send it off to him. I went and did it with him. Actually. Oh, okay. Well, you went and did it with him, didn't yeah. you? Oh, well, it's you then. I'll yeah. thank you. Well, that's. I think you should play it because I tell you what, um, my my next door neighbour is Ben Elton, right? And I saw him in the street after, just after he moved in. And I saw him in the street, and uh, I went up. He came up to me, and said hello. I said hello. How are you? He said, I'm very well. And he said, I've just moved in, and I've been playing the Apollo 9 Splashdown mix all day. It's my favourite track, and he, he put it in his flat. So I thought that was a pretty good. I felt very very happy about that, and uh, I think that was a you know a nice thing. So I'm very apt way to, to to end the interview. Right. Okay. And now it's your turn. Yeah, okay, well I think you should say goodbye to everybody. Okay. Bye-bye uh, everybody. Have a, have a lovely time and get absolutely trashed and... Uh, rat arsed. Rat arsed and, uh, you know, keep watching this space because you never know what might happen in 2002. Okay. Ho-ho! Oh